Now since this channel started I covered a lot of great and a lot of terrible TMNT content but this one was a real struggle. I would lay in my bed at times looking over at my screen fighting with myself to get up and watch the TMNT special we're about to talk about. I'll do it this afternoon. There was a subconscious urge to not want to do it, but I did it. And just as I thought, it was pure torture. Turtle Tunes is a TMNT special that came out in 1994. It is probably the worst thing to come out of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. If it's not the worst, it's pretty damn close. The turtles are back and they look exactly how they looked in We Wish You a Turtle Christmas, which uh, I already covered on a previous video. If you haven't checked that out, go ahead and check it out. It's the same exact suits, the same exact set, and I'm pretty sure it's also the same kits. The intro is also the same as the Christmas special, but different music plays during the incredibly long intro credits. All right, let's get started. Oh no, it's doing the same thing the Christmas special did. All right, oh man, it's a little different. Maybe it's not as long. Okay. Oh man. Ah, right, here we go. Man. I can't believe this. Once it actually gets started, it's just as bad as you would imagine. It's probably used as torture in some parts of the world if I'm being honest. So it starts off with the turtles talking about getting their own live action television series starring these turtles. It almost feels like they were low key trying to use this special to launch it. Like some executive was gonna see it and be like, hey, this is great, want a television series? Now I don't know how accurate that is, but it's just the feeling I get when I'm watching this. It reeks of desperation, but it's trippy to think that we could have got this instead of the next mutation, which would have somehow been worse. Never thought I'd be sticking up for the next mutation. Anyways, the turtles wanna call it TMNT TV. They have a logo and everything. They decide to meet up with some kids in the park to shoot some music videos or something. Leo says to get their disguises, but Donnie says they don't need them this time. And Michelangelo yells, I love show business. I love show business! I don't know what any of it has to do with them not needing the disguises anymore. Because they go up to the surface in the Christmas special. What the hell was Leonardo even talking about with these disguises? They've already been out there. I think they just wanted an excuse to show the trench coat and hat and somehow relate this to the first live action movie. In fact, they try to do a lot of other things to recreate moments from that original trilogy. There's Mikey making a call from a payphone, which I feel like they're trying to recreate the opening scene from the live action movie. And the way Raph is talking to Michelangelo reminds me of the way Raphael's talking to Kino in Secret of the Ooze. Do me a favor, stay with us today, all right? This is our big chance, no disappearing. And there's some other stuff we'll get to as well. Anywho, they make their way to the surface and believe Believe it or not, these turtles look even worse in broad daylight. When they're first appearing in the park, you can see them off in the distance, and it's just so off-putting, cringy, scary even. If I saw that coming towards me in the distance at a park, I would get the hell out of there quickly. Anyways, they eventually meet up with the kids and everything, and for some reason, like, the kids seem like they're having a bad day. They're all pissed off for some reason. I guess the turtles are late or something, or they had trouble meeting up, finding each other, but it's just a bit over the top how angry they are for some reason. Let's talk about some of the music. So so Mikey ends up going missing as soon as they meet up and we get a song titled Skating Around the Fountain which is a version of I've Been Working on the Railroad but with different lyrics. <laughs> And 
man, it's something. The turtles and the kids go looking for him and they eventually find them. There's shots in the scene where you can see some like grown-ups in the background and they do not look impressed at all. Next we get the song Leonardo has a rowboat which is Yankee Doodle Dandy but with different words. Leo's having trouble on the boat. Everyone is getting frustrated with him. Again, very over the top. Around this time, okay? I said oh. get back to work! Jesus Christ! Okay! Cut! But we do have this kid that starts throwing down some bars halfway through the song. One around, that's not what I call rowing. Legend. Now, let's move on to some other songs. The next song has a ninja trying to kidnap some kids. The song is called Don't Talk to Strangers. It kind of seems like there's a ninja in the park trying to use like a cute dog to lure little kids into his, I don't know, wherever he takes them. Talk about developing a password or a code word in case they ever get caught in a situation like this. That way they can get help quickly. There's not much else to it. I do have to say though, this song was the one that got stuck in my head. After the song, you go back to the lair as they get ready for the next song they're about to show. But first you get this fun little tidbit and get to find out what Michelangelo and Leonardo's middle names are. I never even knew the turtles had middle names. Leonardo's middle name is apparently Antonio and Michelangelo's middle name is Sylvester. Your mother's middle name? Your middle name? Mine is Antonio. Antonio? Are you kidding? You never told me that. What's yours, man? Come on. I'm not telling. Oh, come on. It can't be that bad. It's, uh, Sylvester. Ah! Not sure if it's on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Wikipedia page, but I'm sure it'll find its way there. Then, despite Raphael usually being the anti-social turtle, we get his favorite song about him having friends. They look like they're supposed to be in their lair, sort of, or like in their bedrooms. You can see their bunk beds and pizza boxes all over the place, but it doesn't look like they're in the sewer. It looks like they're in a barn or something. You can see the sunlight coming through the side of the wood panels. I have no idea what's going on. Let's just get through this. The next segment is the kids are picking up trash off the floor with their bare hands. It's pretty disgusting if you think about it. There's a good chance there's urine and feces on that stuff. Wear some gloves, people. Stepping on gum, can't breathe outside, can't breathe outside. Hey, got a pain in my chest, and I can't breathe. There's only a few more songs left. The next one is I love to ride the carousel, and while they're waiting in line for the carousel, Raph's freaking out for some reason, and his mask almost falls off, and it's fantastic. I like how they kept it in. You're gonna love this! Yeah. Trust me! Have I ever steered you wrong before? Yes! I can imagine the conversation now as they were recording it, like, hey, should we reshoot that his mask fell off? And them going, nah, it's okay. This song is pretty uneventful. It's just Raph getting motion sickness as they go round on the carousel. We get to the final segment and it's Mikey making a pizza and explaining all the disgusting toppings he puts on it. Nothing really happens. I think he burns it at the end and it cuts to the turtles back in their lair pretty much saying goodbye. But there is one part at the end where they try to recreate Splinter's like speech thing from the original 1990 movie and it's pretty bad. My sons, you have learned the greatest truth of the ninja. The ultimate mastery comes not of the body, but of the mind. You tried your best. You worked together. Remember the force that binds you. I love you, my sons. Did Splinter die or something? Also, April calls at the end. We don't get to see her, but she says that their show is a hit and that they now have a live action television series. Which, if you think about it, three years later, we actually did in 1997 with The Next Mutation. I don't know if that's what they were referring to or if they actually thought these turtles in this special were gonna get a live action series. Seems like either way, we were gonna get something terrible. All right, wow, what a terrible experience that was. Like swimming through acid. I need a drink. 
that wraps up this video guys make sure to hit subscribe if you're stumbling across the channel and you just want more ninja turtles content in your life we discuss old turtle stuff new turtle stuff like rise of the tmnt the new live action reboot movie that's coming there's a batman versus the ninja turtles animated movie that's coming i'm trying to hit the comics up a little bit more as well so just everything ninja turtles we talk about it here on this channel so if you're not subscribed go ahead hit that subscribe button or if you know someone that's a turtles fan go ahead and share this channel with them thank you very much everybody for watching that's it for this one i'll see you in a little bit with another one take care Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to follow me on all the social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. It's a good way to stay in touch with the channel. And also head on over to www.theoldturtleden.com. It's pretty new. We plan on adding more stuff to it in the near future. But yeah, go check it out. Helps keep the lights on here in the Turtle Den. And once again, thanks for watching. Pizza dude's got 30 seconds.